summarize your life story in one sentence hmm. using details. <laughs> hey, my, uh, so why is my last So today in this video, I'm going to be carrying out a social experiment. I actually went online and searched for possible questions that could make two strangers fall in love. And to my shocking surprise, I actually found something. I it was published by the New York Times, and you know New York Times always give us facts because obviously it's New York. And this is Nigeria, so New York fact. So I decided to try those questions out and actually find out whether I'll actually fall in love. So I went online on my Facebook account and I met this very very interesting girl. And today we're going to be meeting for the first time and we're going to be asking ourselves this set of questions to actually find out if we are going to fall in love and find out whether the the truth or the questions, the analysis of the psychology of the question, whatever you guys call it, is actually true. So sit back and enjoy the video. Thank you. Okay, my name is Shema, and I'm very happy to be here in this show. I'm a student of Emory State University, and I'm also a model, although aspiring for now. And also, I love drawing, singing and you know doing things that has to do with social and the society everything about society yeah thank you given the choice of anyone in the world whom would you want to go as a dinner guest okay once as a dinner guest for me i have someone who is really close to me actually a guy steve stefan sorry that was a mistake stefan so yeah the person I would like to go on a date. I'm shocked. <laughs> Why would you be shocked? I thought you people are calling some people will call celebrities. No, I'm not doing celebrities. <laughs> You're not doing celebrities. Oh God, help me! I don't want to be doing celebrities again. <laughs> Do you know why I'm smiling? Why? It's actually a celebrity. Um, Koti Eo. She's a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, what does she? Do? Uh, she just does content. I don't know what to like describe her contents about her videos like actually relate to them from okay. the bottom of my heart. Oh like bottom of my heart. In my in the lowest of my lows. Oh. Her video was my inspiration, was the love of my life. So okay. like you no know, when they say when someone is there for you when you had nothing. Oh. I see. <laughs> you tend to fall in love with the person. Ah! So <laughs> So like it's not like I'm obsessed over how oh, okay, but I have, you are obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> if I had the chance to go on a dinner this thing, I will cut okay. it over. If a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, your future, or anything else, what would it be? Hmm. Okay. The crystal ball. I think it would be that I'll be great. Because that's for something. Uh, I'll be powerful. I mean, I'll be someone, you know, really known. Not like the fame or the thing, but I'll make history. Obviously, it's interesting that I'll be, I'll be great. I'll be powerful. I'll be famous. Like, I'll be famous. And I'll be rich. So the question says, when did you last sing to yourself or to someone? Actually, I sing a lot to someone, like to people, maybe on voice call, voice notes, video um, video calls, and normal phone calls. So yeah, maybe yesterday, maybe the before yesterday. It's not that long. I don't sing to myself. Okay, okay. Does singing normally count as singing to yourself? So I just sing, yeah, I do it a lot. I could like do it for you too. <laughs> you know? Maybe you sing for me. No problem. When I last sang to myself, this morning, I just sing to myself always because that's the only way I can motivate myself. Then when I last that sing to someone else, that should be on Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesday. I just sang I just sang the person song for her. Oh. No, oh, I'm here to find love today, so. Okay. 
If you knew that in one year you would die suddenly, would you change anything about the way you are living now? Yes, yeah, so <laughs> because nobody wants to go to air fire. <laughs> Me like this now. I won't say that like at the moment I'm not good at you know with God and all that. Yeah. But I'd like to put myself really in the line of God. Because I know that very soon I'll be going to heaven. <laughs> I'm not like to do anything to make him not happy, you know. Yeah. So my life will follow in line. Like any other thing anybody's telling me is just rubbish because I'll start to my life like a righteous person mm -hmm. give my life to christ give wow. my intestine everything give it to him please and um, so that i will not go to fire fire is not fun wow. so yeah okay i will change a lot of things i will change a lot of things i will start talking talking more i'll start meeting people more and as she said I'll become more serious with God. Yeah. Like when I mean become serious with God, I'll start winning. I'll start winning nations for Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how like so intense it yes, will be. Yes. Like, because nobody, as you say, nobody wants to go to hell. Yes. And also, I also want to leave a legacy on this earth. So when if, you're living. Exactly. Yeah, so I if I can do something within that one year that is going to like spark a shift. In my life for generation, even so when I'm gone, yes. people on earth, people on earth to feel my impact, and people in heaven will also feel my impact. Yes. That kind of thing. Yes. I don't want the one that people on earth will not feel my impact. It will not be people in hellfire <laughs> that will feel my impact. As a new member, <laughs> as a new member, I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't, I don't want that because I'm sure if I go to hell, I'll be crying because I'm a mommy's boy. <laughs> if you could change anything about the way you were raised. What would it be? Where yeah, I was raised, I could change anything. Okay, yeah, I think actually. I don't think, I don't think so. The way I was raised was just natural. <laughs> was just okay to me. Was just I felt I just feel it's, it's just like okay to me. Because like they exposed me to a lot of things. And that was why I'm not struggling with a lot of things that most people my age are struggling with because I've been exposed to them from a very, very young age. So, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so... I like the way I was raised, but, you know, it's a bit opposite from the way you were raised. I was not really exposed to life outside, so... Yeah. I don't really know what it seems like. Like, although, as God may have it, I don't really get to see. But, yeah, yeah. if I was very weak-willed, by yeah, now, yeah. I would have done so many things I don't will. Like, I don't feel like doing, because I was not allowed to really see the world outside. Yeah. And I was raised with like strong hands, both from, oh, wow. from both sides, like yeah. too protective and all that. And you know, I would like to, you know, want to socialize with people more, do things I've not done before, come out to the spotlight, you know, show what I really can do, That's stop smart. hiding myself because yeah. that was how I've been made to, you know, live my life from the start, you know, keeping me inside and all yeah. that, which is not really my thing. Uh, yeah. For what in your life do you feel? most grateful on. my life and the life of my family and the life of my friends that's what I'm most grateful for for God to give us grace to like wake up every morning and push and keep pushing I'm grateful for I'm, I'm seriously grateful for that I'm not going to lie okay actually the same thing yeah for what in your life do you feel most beautiful for my life most especially for the life of my family keeping them keeping my friends alive you know although i lost some but i'm still grateful that some are still alive my life 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 i'm grateful for my life in my life i am grateful for my life so yeah what do you value most in friendship what I actually value most friendship is actually care and support just that like the ability for someone to care for me and remind me that they care for me and they show it in the action and the same energy they give to me the same energy i give to them um, that is like that's what i value most and i value those friendships more than ordinary how i live but only when you see i hate it but 
Actualization. The whole idea in my brain for that week, for that day, happens in that day. Like it's very, very nice. And as you said, food too. Because food is <laughs> like the powerhouse. Without I food, I cannot do anything. No. So would you like to be famous? Hmm. Yeah. I would because fame would bring you, with the type of thing I want to do, fame would be good. But not like too much fame. And I wouldn't like the whole world to know everything about me, like everything, my inside out. You know, the world, they're ready to criticize everything you do. So I like a limited information to be disclosed to people. But I would like fame, yeah, because that fame will bring you more people yeah. who you would want to work with to gain you more money and more fame. Because fame is good, but not like too good, but it has its own advantage. So I like to be famous. But in a low key, but not low key. Way. You know, I just want to be known for this particular thing. Once it is mentioned, yes, I know someone who does it, and she's very good at it. Just you know, contact her, and then I get paid. You know, stuff like that. Actually, yes, I want to be famous. I want to be famous. But fame is like it's like a suicide mission. From everything I've been seeing so far, fame is like a suicide mission. So like. I just want to be comfortable, if possible. Just be doing my thing and be very, very, very good at it. Yeah. And have a group of, a community of people I inspire. Yeah. Yes, I know I'm coming for the top. As much as I want the top, I don't want people pestering around me. Not like I don't like people, but it doesn't make sense because someone used to say that you can have fans and you can have followers. Followers are people that you inspire. Why fans are people that that consists of both your followers and both people that want to con um, criticize you. Yeah. So I don't want fans, I want followers, something like that. I just want people, a set of people that I will inspire and spark them to change the world. Summarize your life story in one sentence, hmm. using details. <laughs> hey, my, uh, 
So why is it my life story? No. In one sentence. Yes. Okay. My life story. I'll just say that Harper Collins is just a man God is helping. If God is not helping me, nobody should nobody nobody will be hearing of me again. That's just my life story. I'm just a boy. God is helping. Jesus kind of boy to the end. My life story is that my life sometimes can be twisted, sometimes can be falling in place. But as God may have it, it is gradually falling in place. And as time goes on, it will become even better and bigger. Wow. And that's it. Yeah. Do you have a secret hunch about how you want to die? Yes, I do. Although it's weird, but. I like to die in my sleep if I would die, and that would be at the ripe age. By then, I've made history, you know. I don't even want to like announce my. Death. I want to know I'm going to die. I know that's possible. I want yeah, to be aware course. I will die before I do so. By then, I've made enough history. Like I'm very satisfied. I want to die a very good death in my sleep. I let my people know. Don't cry too much because after here, I'm going to live somewhere. I'm not going to like die entirely. So yeah, and I'll make peace with God and then die in my sleep. I want it very peaceful. I don't want to be short. I want to fall out somewhere and die. I don't want to fall from skyscraper. I don't want <laughs> those crazy death. ways. I don't want it. I just want a normal sleep death. That's all. I don't want to go through pain. Sincerely speaking, when I'm old, very, very old, I want to like die in my sleep. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> like <laughs> when I'm going to go and sleep ahead, I will not go and meet my master One from time. there. I don't I don't want all this rubbish. You be walking on the road and slump. It's so weird. Your body is so weird, please. I just want to just lie down on my bed and tell my people that I might not wake up tomorrow morning you know. I'll be like, uh -huh. and they'll be very sad and all those kind of things. When I go to bed, my master will come and carry me to heaven on your sleep by himself. So that's, that's just how I feel like I should die, okay. by the help of God. Before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you are going to say and why? I do not rehearse because I wasn't it. I mean, my mind already knows what I'm about to say. Like, not like I'm perfect or anything, but... Yeah. I am about to make a telephone call. I do not rehearse. Because, of course, the person I'm about to call, I already have what I want to tell the person in mind. Yeah. Unless it's someone who is really, really, you know, has high, high level up. in the society, high rank in the society. Uh -huh. Then I have to like rehearse what I want to say before calling the person. So that I will not use phrases and words that are not good yeah, yeah. on the person. I have to know the words to place and how to place them. And why I'm to do that is because I don't want to incur wrath on myself or I don't want to be seen as, you know, yeah. disrespectful person because I'm trying to be straight up, you know, yeah. No, I don't even, like you said, I don't see a point in like rehearsing, rehearsing about it. I don't, I just allow everything to flow from the inside. Yeah. Just allow everything to flow from the inside, except is someone bigger than me or in a higher rank as you yeah, say. Yeah. Now I have to like calm down and know exactly why I want to call the person. Yeah. First of all I must know the why I want to call you. And what am I going to say? What language am I going to use? Okay, take for instance that's on some certain people that I don't just call and just start talking with them, bam, bam. And they align everything to be coming out of my mouth. Yeah. Even even if the person is my mate, I like I know everybody's limits, boundaries. Yes. Uh, yes, boundaries are limits. So, like, I already analyzed my head that, uh, Omo, this person I'm about to call now. If I want to use this to English, talk. exactly. If I want to use this English, <laughs> enter the same yes, arms, yes. something like that. Like the way you talk to your pastors or the way you talk to your friends. Why? <laughs> when, they, exactly. when they do it different, so oh, it's not possible. <laughs> okay. If you were to die this evening with no opportunity, to communicate with anyone what would you re most regret not having told someone why haven't you told them yet no, it was like this evening okay 
I actually regret not appreciating some people in my life and not able, being able to like give them the kind of thing they need, like solve their problems. Like I see this particular person in my life has this kind of problem or has this type of issue. And I know that I can actually solve this thing, but I don't just want to solve it. And it's very, very, I feel like that, yeah, there are some people in my life right now that actually want to also appreciate. And I know that I can solve their problems, but I cannot. So like, they are going to be the ones I'm actually regretting. I'm also not living up to the standard that God wants me to this thing. I actually regret doing that because procrastination is a bastard. And I'm a fan of procrastination. That kind of bad thing. And why haven't I told them yet? Why I've not appreciated those people who charge? It's just because um, I don't want to sound all cliche. Cliche or uh, what? What about English? You guys used to say that stuff is this I don't care. But I don't want to sound too cliche, or I don't want to a situation where I'll go to somebody and, and confess how I feel for them and how grateful I am for I'm, I'm grateful that I am for what they have done for me, and they just be like, okay, thank you. I hate it. Like I hate when someone tells me thank you or okay. When I expected you to say more, okay. I, I feel I feel hot deep down inside, even though I don't express it. So like, that's the main reason why I've not told them. So I'm not going to tell them for now. Because this person is actually open to communicate. I'm kind of I'm I'm open. I like telling people stuff. So if I talk to you and I see you're not so open, it's a, it's a, it's a red flag, pure red flag. So like, why I haven't told them yet is because I've seen that red flag that do not respond to me. The way you expect. Yes, and for adventure, if I was to die this evening, God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. I also die a hot person because I now, I now told them and they did not react the way they should. I feel weird. It's interesting. Aside, you know, aside appreciation, there are people you need to tell to their faces that they are doing bad things. I would regret telling them because if I don't tell them, because uh, there are so many people I've not told yet that this is the life they are living. Yeah. And there are so many things I've not done to people to show them that what they did is bad. I would like to make some people regret some things. And I also like to make some people see their bad things, their bad actions. And I would also like to appreciate a lot of people. And I would also like to, you know, do some things to show love to some people who yeah. deserve it or who I feel should get it before I die. And you know, dying this evening is too bad. I cannot do that. Mm -hmm. for I, I, not like it's in my power to decide when to live and not to yeah. live. So why I haven't told them yet is because I'm still trying to arrange my words to make it more friendly, to tell this person that what this person has been doing is bad. Or the life the person has been living is bad. I want to make it, you know, not problematic. I don't want troubles on myself or my people. So it's been keeping. I've been keeping it, you know, to myself. And I have not been able to appreciate people because the type of appreciation I want to give would not just have to be with mouth, but also maybe monetary appreciation, gift appreciation, and all those stuffs. I wouldn't like to just tell you thank you. If if you helped me in the past, I'd like to tell you thank you. And also thank you with something in hand. If you could wake up tomorrow having gained one quality or ability, what would it be? <laughs> this question is hard though. If I could wake up one quality. Okay, one quality I would love to wake up with. Is actually the ability to be patient. I'm not patient enough. I'm patient, but I'm not patient enough. Like, I'm not too patient. Then for ability, I'm a, I want to be, I want to wake up with the ability to prophesy. <laughs> like, to see the future <laughs> and plan for it. Just to see the future and plan for it. That's the ability. And I'll, if it's to have it as a superpower, I don't mind. I like to gain the quality of being able to you know, cop or you know, 
sub you know subdue anger and what it makes me do not like i'm way too angry but i want to be able to you know control myself when it has to do with anger yeah. and also an ability hmm, it would be to be brainy enough to arrange my mind in a way that's like i can strategize ways to make good money wow. without having to do bad things you know like very smart way like very intellectual way to make like it has to do with my brain being able to think very fast and nice about how to make good money wow. and once i do it it works out for me so long as i put in my you know hard work yeah. so, so yeah my honest opinion about it is quite good yeah mm taking things one after the other and all that so i don't know i don't have much to say it's, it's just cool with the questions and the questions are really nice like they had me thinking they had me digging out something for myself and checking and analyzing they had me checking on my own life too so yeah it's quite cool yeah. depth of personal life if in the depth of personal life hmm, i do not Are you sure know. this man is here what you see <laughs> it the place. If he's the type of person I like, I would not I do not know at the moment because I don't even know him much, so I can't really conclude. Yeah, so I'm just let. Choma Choma is actually a very nice person, Sha. Uh, yeah, it was actually fun on the show with her. Like I really enjoyed every bit and the questions. We could relate to it, like we could relate to the question, but I don't believe in love at first sight, Sha. I do think she's not my spec. <laughs> no, don't. People should not look at me. laughing. Eh? When you talk what you want to talk, you're laughing. Huh? She's not my spec. Yeah, she's not my spec. Something like I have spec. Not like she's not beautiful. She's very, very beautiful. I love the way she walks. I love her voice, I love her physical features and everything, but she's just, she's not somebody that I'll be looking like I want to spend the rest of my life with. Not like she has anything bad, though. she's perfect, she's a perfect wife material. Like you listen to her answer the questions, you know, but everybody has their point, everybody has their preferences, so that's just me. But it was really nice having her, but the experiment did not work for me, personally, you know what? Eating For the fact that at the end of the day we did not let her fall in love. Sure. Doesn't mean that the experiment did not work. Maybe it's because we did not complete it. But anyway, sure. It was nice really meeting Choma and discussing with her. The questions really opened my eyes to a lot of possibilities about life and a lot of things I didn't know about myself. And talking to with her too, I learned a lot of things and it inspired me. I don't know. You can also try out these questions with your partner. It was really fun doing this video with her. And thank you very much for watching and staying to